Okay. Good morning, everyone. So not gonna lie, I thought of this idea about 20 minutes ago and I was like, I'm gonna get ready and film it. It's like seven in the morning, but we're doing a video, so. Let's go. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing 22 of my healthy habits that I've been implementing into my life recently to boost my mood, make me happier, keep me fit and healthy, but just overall improve my mental state and my emotional and physical health, which is so important. So I suppose without further ado, let's jump right into it. My first habit is to have a solid morning routine and to just get out of bed. I find that the days that I'm just feeling a bit how you going, I notice a huge improvement if I get out of bed, make my bed, wash my face, just have a simple set morning routine that I can complete to make me feel a bit more productive. For me, making my bed, washing my face and getting a cup of coffee is my like three steps to my morning that I have to complete every single day in order to start my day. And I feel like that just kickstarts how I'm feeling, makes me feel productive and gets me in the right headspace to start my day. It can take anywhere from 18 to 254 days for a person to form a new habit and an average of 66 days for a new behavior to become automatic. In other words, the sooner you start implementing an effective morning routine, the sooner it becomes a habit and the sooner you can feel more productive. Solve problems one step at a time. Make to-do lists. To-do lists are honestly my best friend. I value them so much, especially when I have a lot going on, when I have a lot to do. They are just the perfect way to organize your thoughts. And I feel like you're releasing that stress and anxiety of having so much to do and you're putting it on a piece of paper. For me, I literally write everything that I need to get done on the to-do list, whether it's going for a walk, washing dishes, putting up washing and being able to like check each point that you've done off of the to-do list is just so satisfying and I feel like it boosts that productive feeling as well. So make to-do lists. Working out in the morning. This is one of my biggest healthy habits that make me happy. I swear working out in the morning just boosts my mood, gets me going for the day, gives me those endorphins that I, I need to get my day started. Everyone is different and everyone has a different preference of when they like to work out in the day. But I feel like working out in the morning just kickstarts my day in like the best way and makes me a lot happier. This kind of goes along with the working out in the morning tip, but morning walks are just superior, honestly. There is something about going for a walk in like that crisp morning air that is just so satisfying. Even just walking around the neighborhood, but getting out into the fresh air in the morning, it just boosts my mood. And so I would definitely recommend it. Writing short and long-term goals is something that I have been doing a lot more recently to have that same feeling of productivity. I think the trick to writing goals is making sure that they're realistic and time sensitive. I feel like if you've got a goal that doesn't have kind of like a due date or like when you want to actually accomplish that goal by and if they're really unrealistic i feel like it defeats the whole purpose of setting goals so for me i've been trying to make time sensitive realistic goals whether that be save up x amount of money by july 2022 or be able to do 50 push-ups by the end of September, something like that. I just feel like it's a more effective way of goal setting because then you can actually reach the goal if you set your mind to it and if you're consistent and determined to achieve that goal. It's eating healthy. Eating healthy for me just makes me feel my best. It makes me feel fit and healthy and happier because I'm fueling my body with nutritious foods. Moderation is definitely key and I'm not saying to just like stop eating junk food because junk food is what makes your soul happy. So like don't stop eating your favorite junk food but eating healthy overall just makes me so much happier and uplifts my mood. Spending at least 20 minutes in the sun a day. I just find that lying in the sun boosts my mood. I can't really tell you why. I just feel like being in the sun makes me feel so much better. Something to do with the vitamin D has to be something to do with the vitamin D. This next point is something that I struggle to do, but I know it is so beneficial for my mental state. It's meditating. For me, meditating is spending time with myself. So going for an early morning walk or driving to this spot 
that overlooks the bay and writing in my notes something like that for me those are ways of meditating and so it is very dependent on the person and like how you find joy being with yourself i suppose it's also just time that you're able to think without any distractions so that could also mean like reading listening to music this kind of correlates to meditating but it's journaling i know that this point is very obvious and everyone kind of says to journal to improve your mental state but it is honestly so beneficial for me i don't exactly sit there and write in a journal i type it on my notes and I guess that's just how I journal and what works for me. It also just helps me make more sense of how I'm feeling and that particular emotion that I'm feeling and helps me to kind of recognize that I am feeling that particular way. Baths, enough said. Baths are just incredible. They are the best way to relax and unwind and just spend time with yourself and take care of yourself. It is time that you can relax and truly just unwind from the day. So like working out in the morning and getting those endorphins to kickstart the day, I feel like baths help end the day and help you relax and release those stresses that the day has given you, I suppose. But honestly, just having a bath is so beneficial for unwinding and just improving the mental state before you go to bed. Dedicating time to cook your favorite meal. Literally just blasting music, spending some time cooking your favorite meal for me i love sushi i love pancakes so just setting aside those few extra minutes whether it's to make pancakes in the morning or to make a really nice dinner at night and i just feel like cooking is so therapeutic and relaxing there's a skill that you can kind of like get better at every time you do it so boxing boxing is just by far one of my favorite workouts because it is so mentally and physically demanding and so i feel like it benefits you both physically and mentally it requires a hundred percent of your mental focus when you're learning combos or like when you're sparring in the ring like obviously you have to be a hundred percent focused on the person in front of you and so i feel like it leaves no room for you to think about anything else and i love that that is probably my favorite thing about boxing. It is also just so physically demanding. I just know that when I have a boxing session, I will feel 10 times better. So yeah, boxing is definitely one of the top tier healthy habits that makes me incredibly happy. Making new Spotify playlists. There is something about finding new music that is just so satisfying. I suppose this kind of correlates to my next point, which is just night drives. Just driving and listening to music, but like blaring the music so freaking loud and belting your lungs out to the songs is just so therapeutic. Like I'm pretty sure almost everyone can relate to how therapeutic screaming your lungs out to songs is in the car. Sunrises and sunsets. I swear the days that I watch the sunrise I can already tell you it's going to be a good day like my mood is just elevated so much after watching the sunrise there's just something about watching the sky change colors it's just so therapeutic and i just feel like it's a natural kind of occurrence which makes it so valuable and beautiful i find that it just boosts my mood and makes me so much happier when i watch the sunrise spending time with people who will uplift you and boost your mood so spending time with those friends who do uplift you and who are positive and motivating is so valuable and will in turn elevate your own spirits and elevate your own mood i suppose it also means recognizing those toxic people in your life who do nothing but deflate you and I suppose limiting your time with those sort of people. Listening to podcasts and reading. I'm not the biggest reader. I really only read if I'm by the beach in the sun. That's when I'll read. So I find podcasts really valuable because I can listen to them on my morning walk. I can listen to them in the car when I'm driving somewhere, on the train to work. And not only will it kind of relax me, but it will make me think about whatever the podcast is talking about. And I really like to listen to inspirational podcasts or educational podcasts. I have been listening to this particular one about anxiety recently. So that's been really informative. So yeah, reading and listening to podcasts. 
This one is also really random, but it's cleaning. And I know what you're thinking, cleaning probably does the exact opposite to inducing happiness. But there's something so satisfying about having a really messy room and cleaning it from top to bottom. And it is just so satisfying and makes me feel so productive. So the second last point that I have is taking a break. For me, I find it difficult to take a step back and relax. I am a person who always has to be doing something, always has to feel productive and get stuff done. I love being on the grind, but I feel like it is really important to take a step back and relax and do something that will make you happy. So taking a break and practicing self-care and just having you time is very important and I feel like it'll help you kind of rejuvenate. So I suppose this can kind of relate to getting off of your phone and having some time away from technology or social media because we all know that social media can be so toxic to your mental health. And so I feel like having some time, whether it's like an hour a day where you're just not on your phone, you're being in the moment, you're doing something that makes you happy, will uplift you and, and will make you feel inspired and rejuvenated. Exploring and discovering new places. I guess this kind of just speaks for itself, but going out and exploring places that are new and that you've never been to before. It's just exciting and you're able to go on a bit of an adventure. So those are 22 healthy habits that I try to implement into my life to make me happier. I hope this video was helpful at giving you guys some ideas of things that you can also implement into your life to make you happier. 2022, we're gonna be working on happiness, mental health, being fit and healthy and just becoming the best version of ourselves. And I wanna try and document my journey as much as I can on this channel. So subscribe so that you don't miss any content. But yeah, I hope this video wasn't too chaotic. Again, I was kind of just like talking on my feet and I tend to ramble when I have a lot to say about something. So hopefully there was some sort of structure to this video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what else you want me to film in the comments. I will see you in my next video. Ciao!